Hey guys, Danger Dano here. Another rock and roll video for Rise of Empires, Ice and Fire. And today we are talking migration. <clears throat> we have uh, our state just opened for migration approximately three minutes ago. And we are third in the ranking for power, which means that uh, the top two most powerful states or calculated power uh, they won't allow n new members or strong members to be moving into them they don't want them to be getting uh, to balloon too much so they kind of close off the top two and then they leave the third and under open so we are in third right now and if you see our province strength uh, 2011 and the next one up is 2044. So we're th about 33 million uh, power behind the next state. So as soon as we jump 33 million power, we're going to close. <clears throat> so what we've organized is because these refresh every 10 minutes, uh, we have approximately a 10 minute window before this number gets recalculated. So if we can get as many people as we can in during that 10 minute window, uh, it won't bump us into the second place slot and therefore close our uh, pro province immigration. So we've opened up migration. We are here. We got people moving in. We got see all these untagged castles. These are all people that have moved in from other states. And... We have told them to jump to the mud, and we have announced to this, the province that we aren't going to be attacking anybody with no tags for the meantime until migration is finished. And we're going to see here in the next few minutes how many people will make it in, and if we manage to keep migration open or if we're going to end up closing it. So, I mean, so far we've, we're getting some some decent strength castles. I mean... Some C24s, we got C25 here, another decent C25 there. I mean, none of them are huge, so, you know, a little bit bigger there, but nothing too, too crazy. And uh, province immigration isn't calculated on the power, on this power rating that's, that's listed there. Uh, there's, um... There's a bit of a different calculation that goes into it, but it is based off of your technology and your building strength and your heroes and your amount of troops. But it's calculated on the highest potential power that you can possibly have. So, you know, for example, if you have troops in the medical tents and they're not being calculated in your power, or if you have... Uh, If you've killed off troops, you know, so for example, if you had a million troops and maybe f half of them have died, so now you only have 500,000 left, then it's still going to calculate you based on the power that you had when you had a million troops. So it's kind of your highest rated power that you've ever had and could potentially have, and therefore it, that's how they calculate the number of tickets that you will need. So... It's pretty interesting, you know, once it opens up, we get a bunch of people moving in. We've been mailing people. I mean, I've been mailing people. Everybody's been mailing people from other states trying to organize this 10-minute window that we were trying to organize. So we're going to see if it was successful. We've got three minutes left. And we'll see if the immigration st stats change here soon. So we're still... 2011 up to 2044 so we are still not calculating these new arrivals oh there we got a we got a ooh, yeah so there we go because this guy would have closed migration alone 192,000 power or million power uh, if this guy jumped before everybody else jumped if he jumped in the first 10 minutes Migration for us would have closed, most likely, I'm assuming, but he's so powerful that it's most likely going to close, 
and then therefore we're going to be stuck and nobody else like these other castles would have been able to migrate in <clears throat> so it's good to kind of organize it right at that that opening of migration get everybody in that they can anybody that misses this 10 minute window is probably going to miss it for good and we're probably never going to open up again until after the next season so and speaking of seasons we just finished up the reign of chaos season two and we took our third place rewards uh oh they've closed the the window now but we took third place so that was kind of cool got some decent rewards got some heroes we're going to open up uh that was another thing too even to the point where our rewards have heroes in them and here we come another one um our rewards have oh elon musk oh right on welcome elon we uh we've chosen not to open any of our rewards or hero tickets until after migration happens and we've actually kind of backed off on any kind of growth over the last two weeks or so to try and keep that migration number down to a minimum so it's uh We've, you know, limited the amount of upgrading that we're doing, limited the amount of training that we're doing, limited the amount of research that we're doing, and that's all in hopes that we're going to keep that number as low as possible, give us as big of a window as possible, and then therefore we can get a bunch of these castles to come in. So, I mean, we're getting a, a pretty good movement in word here. I don't know if we have anybody leaving, you know, I would assume that we might have some people leaving. But we won't really know until after. Uh, I have a feeling there's a few people that are leaving our state as well. But, I mean, that happens. They go both ways. So you get people leaving, you get people coming. And hopefully all works out well. <clears throat> 